The iRecord Explore pages allow users to look at the records on the system in the form of maps, lists, and summaries. iRecord has Explore pages for specific activities, your own personal records, and even all records on the system. The different Explore pages all work in the same way, using the same interface, um, and in this video, I'll be using the All Records Explore page, but the principles would be the same on any of the other Explore pages. I'm going to cover how to create filters to undertake a data search on iRecord. Um, the example I'm going to use is that we're interested in butterfly, moth, damselfly and dragonfly data in Scotland and Wales that has been picked up through transects conducted as part of the UK, UK BMS. So that's the UK Butterfly Monitoring Scheme. And we're looking at data between 2011 and 2020. So first of all, to navigate there, I'm going to put, go to Explore on the main menu and then All Records. Now, while that's loading up, um, the first thing I'll mention is that it's always automatically filtered to accept, uh, exclude not accepted records. So if we go down here, it will have records of all sorts. So it's not relevant to a lot of this data is not relevant to what we want, um, but there'll be no not accepted records there. So now we're going to create a filter for the example previously mentioned. To access only the specific data that we are interested in, we can set various filter parameters across a number of fields to filter out all that unwanted data. So if we start by clicking on create a filter here, that brings up the different um, filter configuration settings that we can use. So Filtering by the what component of a biological record uses the what filter configuration settings. We are interested specifically in Lepidoptera, which is known commonly as butterflies and moths, and Odonata, which is known commonly as dragonflies and damselflies. So we can select species or species groups that we want to include by clicking on the species or higher taxa tab and simply entering in what we want. So Lepidoptera, and if we select there and add that, and Odonata. There we go, and we add that one too. Right, then we must click apply to apply that filter to the data. And then if we scroll down, um, we'll see it's up updating here. And now it's narrowed it down to just inse uh, the insects that we want. So butterflies, moths, dragonflies and damselflies. Okay, so filtering by the where component of a biological record uses the where filter configuration settings. So iRecord allows you to add pre-programmed geographic boundaries such as country, county or local environmental record center boundaries. Uh, there are also tools within the map, which we can see here, that allow you to draw your own geographic area to be filtered. In this example, we're interested in records in Scotland and Wales. So we can add both of these by going to the predetermined sites and we go to country. And then if we just type in Scotland, it will come up there and we can add that. And then we want Wales as well. Okay, and we add that too. And then again, if we scroll down and click to apply, that will apply those filter settings to the filter. And again, scrolling down, we'll see now that there's only um, records in Scotland and Wales, which is a little bit clearer on the map actually than the list. Um, so the next filter configuration settings are the when, and here we can filter by a date range or the maximum age of a record. And we can select if we're searching by the date of the the actual record or dates to do with various record processing stages, such as input, verification, and last time edited. In this case, we would enter a start date of 1st of the 1st, 2011, and an end date of the 31st of the 12th, 2020. And that will give us the full period of 2011 to 2020. So again, we click apply to make sure that that's updating the filter. So the who filter configuration settings simply allow us to filter down to our own personal records. In this example, we don't need to change 
anything. And the record ID configuration settings allow us to search for both internal and external record ID reference numbers. Now, I never use this as I find it easier to look up individual records by ID number using the filter boxes, which are down below in the records tab here. So we're just going to ignore that too. Now, the quality filter configuration settings allow us to search for both um, allow, are automatically set to exclude not accepted records. We can filter this by the presence of images, by the number of, and a number of other factors, including automated checks, record certainty, and verification status. In this example, let's only include records that have been accepted, thus excluding not accepted and unconfirmed records. So if we click on here, accepted records only, and click apply, it will apply that filter. So the final configuration settings are, are the source configuration settings, and they allow us to select which websites, survey data sets, and iRecord forms we want to include. In this case, we're only interested in the data contained within the UK BMS transect data set. So we select this, um, which is down here somewhere, UK BMS transects, and then we simply collect uh, select apply to apply that filter. So again, if we scroll down now, we should only have the type of data that we wanted. So the butterflies, dragonflies, um, etc. that have been picked up on this transect. And we should only have the um, Welsh and Scottish data. So we've got everything there. Um, one last thing before we finish the video, if you want, you can save the filter. So if we type in a name for the filter here. Um, we can save that just by hitting the save button and that will save that to my filters on there.